Hello everyone, welcome to Automation E2E. In this video, we'll explore how to handle hidden dropdowns in Selenium. We'll discuss the common challenges you might face while working with these elements and share two simple tricks to inspect and interact with them effectively. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of the techniques required to handle hidden dropdowns in Selenium. So, let's get started. Hidden dropdowns are menus that aren't visible on the page by default. They require a specific action like hovering over an element or clicking a button to make them appear. You'll often find these used in places like navigation menus that only show up when you hover over a specific area, setting or options that expand after clicking an icon or button. These dropdowns rely on CSS visibility properties or JavaScript events to control when they appear, which makes inspecting and locating them a bit challenging than standard dropdowns. Let me show you an example. So let's go to the browser and let's go to flipkart.com. On this site, the search input field here is a very good example of hidden dropdown. Let me show you the unique problem that we face while handling such dropdowns. If I click on this, a dropdown list appears here. But the problem here is if I click somewhere else, it just gets disappeared. And again, if I right click here to inspect, again, you can see it disappears. So such types of top downs which are implemented using Angular or Bootstrap JavaScript or hidden using CSS visibility properties make them very tricky to inspect and locate the options that are present inside the drop down. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you two ways in which you can inspect the options of such drop downs. So let's search mobile here and let's try to inspect them again as you can see it's gone and now one possible way to inspect this is first we have to enter the value in this search box then you can go to source and you have a debug option here as you can see which pauses the script execution so if i click here and if i click on pause the execution has been paused and if i go back here and if i inspect this as you can see right now it has successfully inspected the mobile phone again if i go here i you am able to see this as well and similarly for mobiles i have i was able to inspect this as well so this is one very easy way to to inspect such types of drop downs wherein you have to go to the source and you just have to hit the pause and if you want to resume this execution just click on resume and you're good to go ahead so while doing this method just ensure when you have opened this panel you enter this field and these options are loaded prior at least once so that they are visible on the elements if you go ahead and directly input some value when the inspect is open, it might at times not work. But in most cases, this approach works just fine for us. Now, in case this approach doesn't work, let me show you another approach for such kind of problems. So in another approach, we will rely on event listener. In here, there are certain properties on the page like blur and focus out. These two properties mostly cause this type of behavior. So let us remove this blur property from here and let's try. So if I click on inspect, it's still not working. So in case blur is not working, you have to also remove the focus out properties here. So just delete all these properties and then click on here. And as you can see, drop down options are still present on the UI. So these are two very easy ways. One is by pausing the execution from here. And second is removing either the blur or the focus out property from the event listener that is present in the inspect window. So once you have this drop down options here, just inspect and let's find a common thing from here. So mostly these options will have a common class. So for example, this is the class for this drop down. If I click Ctrl F and if I search, you can see all the drop downs are handled. So basically we have eight drop downs. So we can just simply find by class and use this class name to locate this drop down. So I've already written a code to go to the Flipkart site and send keys as mobile in this search box. Now I'll just paste the class name that we copied. So we'll do driver dot find elements in this case because we are going to find multiple options and by class name and let's provide the string here. And as we know, find elements will return a list of web elements. Let's name it as drop down options is equal to. All right, so now we have got all the drop down options. So just to validate, let me print it out for you guys. So I'll just use a simple for loop here i is less than drop down options dot size i plus plus and system dot out dot print ln dot get i dot get text so let's run this program and see how it works 
browsers launched mobile centered here and you can see it has failed let us see the exception that we have got we have got an invalid selector exception and the reason for that is also printed here that is compound class names not permitted so always keep in mind guys that when you are using a class name it shouldn't be a compound name as you can see it has two values here so let's go back to the browser and let's pause this let's enter and pause this again and let's go to the elements and let's try to find a better x path for this so for this let us copy this and let us control f paste it we are going to use a contains method here so the syntax goes something like this the property that you want which in our case is class and the value that we want to provide. So end of bracket and this is the xpath. So as you can see, we have found all the eight drop down options. So let's use this xpath in our code. Let us remove this by xpath and let's paste it. As the drop down options will take some time for loading, let me add a thread dot sleep here. So yep, so for a time being I've added of thread dot sleep and let me run this program and see how it behaves the browser is launched it has entered the value it will wait for some time and it will print all these values so as you can see it has successfully printed all the text of the options that were present on the UI in the next video we'll see how to handle alerts using selenium so if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated thank you so much for watching